traditionally, uh, a lot of composite components, especially those that are high quality and in medium to low production runs, are made by hand. So that's taking a sheet of prepreg um, off the roll and then actually manipulating it by hand in shape over a mold. And this has been the case for the last uh, 20 or 30 years. And we're reaching a state now with composites where the production levels and the volumes we're looking at are too high for this kind of manufacturing. The downsides with it are that it can be a little bit slow, it's expensive, it can be variable, and also it's a small task. So the number of people available that can do this is limited. So in order to scale it up, we need to train an awful lot more people or come up with a new process. All makes handout unique because you have a human, you have a lot of feedback, a lot of complicated systems, visual, tactile, that can look at what they're doing and then really make sure that the part they're getting is exactly what they want. So the aim of the project from then on is to try and create an automated process that was closer to hand layup. Um, and so what we're dealing with was taking sheet prepreg and putting it onto moulds, something which had never really been done, especially on complex moulds. So what we did as part of the study of hand layup was look at how they were using their hands in a series of plastic tools as well, and take all the best bits of that and recreate that in a robotic environment. So what we developed for doing flat, vaguely convex surfaces, we developed just a simple cylindrical roller. Now these are quite similar to the ones uh, that are used on existing automated fiber placement and tape laying machines. And we found this is perfectly adequate and this quite closely replicates the way the laminators were using the soft fleshy pad of the thumb or the palm of the hand to lay down pre -break. For internal corners, the cylindrical roller can struggle. So what we developed was this called the profile roller. It's got a similar shape and almost discus-like profile and it forms a point at the edge which can get deep into the corner and actually apply pressure right in the corner. For very tight and double curvature internal corners, we found that the profile roller really did struggle. So we developed a series of different prototypes, and this is the most successful. So it's a silicon wedge-shaped piece uh, with an aluminium core. Now this provides quite a good compromise between getting a, a nice high pressure, but also spreading the load out so that you do consolidate around the radius, not just right into the corner. In order to use these three end effects in an automated environment, we attach them to the end of a six-axis robot, which gives us the freedom to move the end effects around the complex geometries that you often see. For larger and more complex parts, there often needs to be quite a lot of shear put into the material, which the laminators do by hand, and the current system with the three end effectors can't actually replicate. So the easiest way to do that was to create a press. We take a large sheet of pre-break, place it into the press, and then clamp it at the edges. The different areas, depending on whether they're going to slip quite a lot and form into the mold or they're going to stay still, are clamped at different tension amounts. So once the pre-break is clamped in place, we heat the prepreg up to 40 degrees. And this allows, allows it to be pressed, formed into shape, and then hold its shape for a long period. So the pre-shear ply is then placed on the mold, uh, which is on the six axis robot, and the three end effectors come in and lay it up as a human would. found to cure these parts off and then compare them to ones which actually made by hand and receiving the same if not better quality than we can do by hand. So this is the first time that a sheet of prepreg has really been laid onto a complex mould in the same manner as hand layup. So the next stages for this, this work is to A, try and increase the speed at which it's working so the robot can go a lot faster than it is now and B, try to add some sort of feedback so that if there is any wrinkling or other quality issues it can pick them up and C, try to include some sort of robot that can maybe take the fly from the press and move it here to create a more full production line system. This has been quite a successful project and we're really pleased that we managed to lay up uh, composite parts the same quality as hand layup and more or less the same time. And we're currently looking at creating an existing part for a large aerospace company.